Hey everyone, it's Tom Kradzer with another Rockstar Minute. And listen, I forgot my mic, so this audio might be a little echoey. I promise not to do that again, but I wanna talk about something really important. Do you think it's possible for interest rates to actually go down to 0% in this country? That would be blasphemy even a few years ago. But you can get five-year fixed rate mortgages in this country right now for about 2.75% if you can believe it. Variable rate about 3.1. So variable is actually higher than fixed rate, which is already crazy. But we think they're going lower, and here's why. We're gonna throw up a Financial Post article in front of you right now, and I'm gonna read the headline. The headline says, Canada, the US, UK, Australia, New Zealand are the only major bond markets now without negative rates. So we are one of the only markets, the big bond markets in the world without negative rates. The rest of the world is going negative. So there's an, a chance that we are going lower than our current rates, if you can believe it. And the Bank of Canada recently held rates. So I'm gonna put up another chart in front of you right now. This is the key overnight interest rate from the Bank of Canada. It's currently at 1.75%. We really believe they were trying to desperately get this up to three or 4%. And the reason for that is a lot of economists around the world believe when you're facing a possible recession, you wanna drop interest rates anywhere from three to 6%. And there's a lot of arguing over how much, but it's like three to 6%. So we believe the Bank of Canada and the Federal Reserve were trying to get interest rates much higher than they currently are. So now they've only got them to 1.75%, and there's a lot of talk of possibly a recession globally or in the US, and that we might already be in one at the beginning of one, or maybe perhaps one is coming. So if we're at 1.75%, and they wanna to try to reduce interest rates three to 6%, where do they go from here? They definitely go lower. And if they go lower, listen, if the Bank of Canada reduces rates a quarter point, once a quarter for the next year, that means the 2.75% fixed rate mortgage that we're facing now might be 1.75. Now it's dictated by the bond market, so it might even be lower because if they start reducing rates, that might signal a rush into the bond market, which reduces interest rates on fixed rate mortgages, perhaps even further. We have no crystal ball, but maybe we're going into the 1% range or even lower. That is absolutely insane, but it shouldn't catch any of us by surprise. If you've been studying this stuff for any, any length of time, you know there's a massive debt problem in this world and the Federal Reserves and the central banks are kind of stuck with how they're gonna handle it. So when you're in an environment where interest rates are dropping like this, what does this mean to the value of our currency, the dollars in our pocket? And we really believe that the value of this starts to go down. So hard assets, prices of things like real estate and the traditional hard assets like precious metals, gold and silver, it's not necessarily that they're going up in price. It's that this environment is reducing the value of the dollars. It's costing more of these suckers as they flush these things into the economy to buy things like hard assets. So what's that gonna do to the price of real estate prices that is already going up like crazy and is already destroying the middle class in this country? What's it gonna do to prices of, of things like silver, ounces of silver or ounces of gold? We think we know the answer. It's gonna drive the price of these things up whether we like it or not, whether it's the right thing to do or not. We're gonna do a deep dive into this subject at the next Your Life, Your Terms event on October 5th. If this stuff interests you at all and you wanna discuss the future of the Canadian real estate market as an investor, you gotta be there on October 5th. Stay tuned for details. We'll put it, be putting links to this stuff out shortly, but hopefully this gives you something to think about. Until next time, your life, your terms.